Hello, hello, it's me, Fizzy, and welcome to my Undertale Yellow Let's Play. This is part seven, and we have, we've arrived in what appears to be the navel of the Steamworks. The lint trap, if you will. Um, there's a lot of, well, it's not lint, right? It's, it's like a, it, it's moss, like a plant type thing, and a plant type thing. Great handle on vocabulary there. Yeah, this is, um, it's like a plant that over, that overgrew, and they were create, they were farming the plant to harvest electricity, and it appears that everything went horribly, horribly wrong, and we're doing a little backtracking now, um, one, to pick up some, to pick up some armor that I don't think I purchased from the vending machine back here, but also because I missed a lot of dialogue because I forgot to talk to Saroba in the different rooms here. And um, we're gonna see if I can recover some of that. Who's here? Oh my God, rinse repeated. <sighs> Two of you, really? Jandroid, you're lucky your names are adorable. Okay, Jandroid, I'm not gonna shoot you. It was an accident, I swear. Um. I forgot, what do we do? We clean them. Yes, that's right. You offer to give Jandroid a scrub. They seem offended. No, you, I didn't, it's, listen. That's right, we have Saroba powers. There's gonna be like, oh, I'm so bad at, oh, that's right, because it's slippery when wet. Oh my God. You Jandroids drive me nuts. Okay. It's time to meet our mops. Maybe if I don't panic. Oh, I panicked. Okay, smells like poor choices. You, I, I wouldn't know anything about that. Okay, clean. You are rude, take this. I'm sorry, Jandroid. Listen, I know I come into your house telling you that you need to be cleaned. I guess I'd be mad too. I'd throw what appears to be rocks or maybe Tide Pods at me. Jandroid finds you too hygienic. Well, we'll be on our way then. 36 gold, which we probably need for armor because I'm spending all my money on Moe's materials. Moe's materials works as a name because M&M, but also it sounds not quite right. Unappealing, unappetizing. Who are you? What do you, oh, okay, Goosick. I remember Goosick. We need to... Move the needle. You move Goosek's needle to a new calmer record. Wait, I... Oh? Yes, you like it. Oh, no slippery floors. Oh, I forgot what Goosek does. Goosek begins spinning in circles. All right, let's vibe, buddy. You close your eyes and tap your foot to the music. Goosek joins you. This is nice, isn't it? Oh! Oh, you should have done the other one. I was used to it already. Oh, that's right. I remember the speaker that lights up is the speaker that's going to shoot the notes out. Goosek is lost in the music. All right, 18 gold. This is what we need. Gold is what we need. Gold is what we desire. Um... No. Oh, sorry. I know. I know. I'm just... I'm addicted to mail whale. I'm sorry, Saroba. We don't need to save right now, right? <laughs> Hopefully not. Unauthorized child detected. Go away. Um, okay. Gravity granola, dihydrogen monoxide, potato chips, or the safety goggles. Okay, they'll... But when it says they'll blind me, does that actually... Like, is that actually a battle effect? I guess we're gonna find out. I have just enough money. I have 74 gold. These cost 70 gold. Let's do it. Item dispensed. Thank you. Okay, let's look at my items. We... Flower stew? When did I get the flower stew? It must have been something... I was gonna say something that Starlo's parents gave me, but now I'm not sure. Flower stew. Heals 20 HP. A cup of aromatic broth with a floral garnish. Or maybe it was something I bought for Mo. Grassy fries, moss salad. Okay, that must have been the last order of items I purchased from Mo. Safety goggles, armor defense nine, paramount to all Steamworks employees. Well, what do my stats look like? Okay, so I would be a, ju a th jump of three. 
But then there's your accessory and there's also your armor. You wrap the safety goggles around your hat. It looks like it has eyes now. <laughs> That's the best description. Okay, that means Silver Scarf has lived a good life. I loved you. You were everything to me. Okay, let's put the Silver Scarf away. Um, let's put the nails away. A feisty slider. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, what else do I have? A patch? No. No patches. That's like the first thing we came with. The feather is what we would replace the patch with. The steel buckle? What does... Safety jacket? I'm trying to figure out what replaces, um... My armor and not an accessory. It, safety jacket. Armor defense 6. A small jacket that protects its wearer from the world's dangers. Okay. Um... Let's try putting on the safety jacket. You don the stunning highlighter yellow jacket. You're all ready to take care of business. Oh, that takes off the goggles. What is armor? <laughs> maybe I wouldn't be, maybe Clover wouldn't be such a punching bag if I had just figured out the difference between armor and accessories sooner. I guess we're fine. You know what? We're good. We did an upgrade. We're no longer in the silver scarf. We've got a whole three extra defense. I don't know. I'm kind of sad about losing that two HP after every turn, though. I'm so attached to it. I, at this point, I'm, like, dependent on it. It is my lifeblood. Oh, wait. You know what I said? I was going to go back and talk to Saroba, and I haven't talked to Saroba at all. Shame on me. I appreciate them putting handrails here. Sure, we're suspended over a bottomless pit, but hey, making baby steps towards basic safety measures. <laughs> no, just ellipses? I, she's like, you should have talked to me sooner, buddy. I don't feel like talking anymore. You've ruined the moment. I'm sorry, Saroba. Okay, I get it. <laughs> what about here? She really did say, you're too late, smell you later. What about here? Jeez, the steam works. It's also pitiful in this state. Abandoned potential hurts. I mean, but was it abandoned or overrun? Or did it become overrun once it was abandoned? What happened in the steam works? Soroba, where's your husband? Oh, I don't know if I want to know. I do want to know. Various types of plants sit within several containers. The smell is... unnatural. Various types of plants sit within several containers. The smell is also unnatural. Okay, got it. Same dialogue. Nothing of interest here. A dried up fountain lies before you. It doesn't look remotely operational anymore. I'm sure we've gone... Yeah, we talk... We selected all of these robots we selected these wall tiles i'll move back to where we were when i started the game up at my old home chujin planted a garden it was a work of compassion beautiful almost like a reflection of his own soul when his health began to deteriorate so did the garden the meadow became the dunes seeing a discarded place like this it's familiar we can care so much for something, but eventually, it all comes to an end. That's why we must forge our own path while we can. Because trust me, once the guise of good times is over, life is cruel. Oh, Soroba, who hurt you? Kind of seems like life in general has just been throwing punch after punch, honestly. I can feel the lab getting closer. Come on. Nothing of interest here. Okay. I. It's time. It's time. We're here. It's the lab. You peer inside the box. Nothing of interest here. Oh! <gasps> I killed it! Saroba, what do we do? Oh my god, don't step on that one! 
I smushed him! Oh no! She has nothing to say about it. That's fine. Don't step on it, Saroba. Oh, I can't! Ugh. Oh, they made me do it! Look, do you see? They, they'll they make you destroy at least one by blocking the sides off. What was that? I... am... awake. What? No! Arm robot! Oh my god, there's no legs on this robot. Gardener model O2 Saint Addis D maged. Oh, h hello there. I don't even know if I said that name right. Was it you who disturbed the floor A? The floor, the flora. You're, you, you're conf, you're, it's your text boxes, sir. Get them in check, please. I ask you to please have more respect. Um, we apologize. Won't happen again. Not, do not worry. Seeing that the child is so young, it is forgivable. I will report the incident as a level 303 for that sounds bad. Uh, what, 10 level 10 offense? Level 10 means that the ter the termination of the trampler? Wait, hold on. Yeah, exactly, Saroba, please hold on. Exactly. Farewell. Ah! I'm stuck, Clover. We need to find a way out of this fast. Gardener waters your cage. They're all Oh, you have to, like, pick the vines off. I have incapacitated your options. I ask you to cooperate with me. That's not... With your Donkey Kong arms. Stop! You're terrifying! Gardner slams her arms into the floor in agitation. Okay, we got this. Accept your offense, Trampler. I'm sorry, ma'am! Please! Really missing that scarf right now. A great hostility is blossoming. Maybe I should just, you know, dodge things more. You must learn that plant life is important. More important than you. I, okay, yes, I've learned that. Can I go now? Oh my god. Gardener slams her arms into the floor in agitation. I can't even get to my items right now. Gardener, attack 12, descends, defense 12, traps offenders for easy apprehension. If you do not yield, I will call for backup. Wait, who's your backup? Don't say Axis. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Gardner looks down upon you, twitching slightly. Okay, I can't. I don't have anything to act with. So should I unlock Mercy next? I don't know. You are a handful. I am going to count to three. Don't, don't count. Stop counting. That makes me nervous. I don't like countdowns. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. That, mm, you know, I'm just getting warmed up, okay? It's been like a solid week since I've played the game. I have no real excuses. I'm just trying to make some up right now. Talk about lethal. Maybe try getting your offense level lower? Your offense level lower? Oh, how do I get my offense level lower? So lowering it from 10 to 9 to 8? Is that what I'm... is... We're... yeah, okay. Let's get to our items first, I guess, so I can heal as soon as I need to, because I... I'm slow. Yeah, yeah. It's, I, you need to anticipate her moves, and I'm just not doing that. I'm just kind of waiting to see what appears on the screen. <laughs> it does, you do a lot better if you think ahead. I know, I know. Plant life. Feet smashes. Okay. Look, we're doing better now, because we're kind of thinking about it. I guess, what do we do next? Mercy? Let's get, I guess we'll do Mercy next. If you do not yield, I will call for backup. Oh! Oh! I'm sorry, Gardener. Just let me live this one time, please. Smells like lawnmower clippings. <laughs> you are a handful. I'm going to count to three. All right, we're getting to the counting. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I didn't... I forgot 
I forgot that it reversed. Okay, let's do... Gunpowder? You put the gunpowder in your mouth and nearly choked to death. HP fully restored. You gotta live on the edge a little bit, Clover. One. Okay, watch out for the chunks. It's the chunks. I was like, this move is lame. She's not trying to hit me at all. And it's... Yeah. Oh, oh, gotta be careful with the debris. Okay, let's clear up Mer- Oh, I accidentally did fight. My bad. No bluffing. Not bluffing! Are you sure you're not bluffing? What's gonna happen when you get to three? Oh! 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 A great hostility is blossoming. What a beautiful way to put it. Three. Calling back up. Uh, they're cute! You called for help, Gardner? Correct. This trampler does not value the greenhouse. What is the offense level, miss? Ten. Termination. Level ten? I mean, of course. We are sorry, offender. Gardner says you deserve termination. They know. I just said that. <laughs> so, attack. Right. <laughs> this is only getting worse. Don't stop your efforts to free us. Okay, I guess we really do just have to remove all of the branches. Oh! Oh, okay. It, they're cute. I love them. White spores swirl through the air. Someone used an electricity attack. Keep it up. That would probably get all of us, though. If someone just had, like, a little static discharge in here, the whole place would probably blow up. <laughs> Smells like lawnmower clippings. Maybe we should avoid that. Please stay in your confines. No! You can't tell me what to do, gardener. Ooh! Oh! Oh, it got me! It actually stomped me! Uh-oh, I probably should heal soon. Okay. Ooh! Rubber? No, thank you. Grassy fries. That sounds amazing. You plug your nose and down the grassy fries. Is this what life has really come to? You recovered 14 HP! <laughs> Please stay in your confines. I don't want to. Oh, no! Oh no, that's bad! You can't take that much damage in one turn! You'll never be able to pluck your vines! Okay. Okay, we can do this one. Oh! Oh! No! Maybe! Please don't. Uh, we should heal. Ah, uh, moss salad! You brace yourself and eat the moss salad. The texture can only be described as insulation. <laughs> oh, I missed the last word. Please stay in your confines. You know, I can eat. Okay, we're almost there. We are almost there. Yeah, what now? We're free. Way to go. I'll do what I can to help us escape for good. Cleverly done. You have gained my respect, but you have not gained my mercy. Bots, attack! Oh, man, come on! They're just little guys. Don't make them do this to me. Hey! Oh, my God! Ar archery? Really? Oh! Adequate job. Thank you for your help. No problem, Gardner. Yeah, give us a call anytime. Even just to hang out or something. <laughs> or not. It's no big deal. <laughs> Gardner twitches at an alarming rate. This can't be good for her. Oh, okay. So now we have an offense level. We're doing something. Um, Gather. Check. Plead. Plead? You plead with Gardner, and it seems to have an effect. Offense level lowered. Okay. Just you and I again. It is too bad I cannot grow tired. For you, that is. I, you know, at least these attacks aren't, like, too crazy to dodge. They're not too bad. They're very reasonable for the amount of time I have to spend dodging them. <laughs> Gardner gives it all she's got. I couldn't ask for any less. So do we just keep pleading, or should we try... What does gathering do? You pick some flowers. Oh, no, 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 no! I thought picking the flowers would be bad. Oh, you missed it. Seriously, man. Hey, it is okay. Here, a flower to cheer you up. Aw. Yo, thanks. Mind if I attack a little? By all means. Are you... 
out. You attack a little and you pull out a pistol? What kind of world is this? <laughs> it's fine. Let's plead a little more, I guess. You try to convince Gardner to stop fighting. Offense level lowered. Okay, so pleading over and over again still works. Still standing? You are rather upsetting. Oh! Oh, those are gonna explode? Oh, you stinkers. All right, Gardner, I'm gonna give it all I got to. You tell Gardner that this is a misunderstanding. Offense level lowered. Just wait until my creator hears about this. You will get a long lecture. A lecture more painful than anything I am doing. True torture. Oh! Oh! I forgot about the bits! Oh, Gardner, please! I can't burn through all my health items like this. I'm about to burn through all my health items like this. Okay. You make sure Flowey isn't watching before trying it! No way! Mm -hmm. Chunky! <laughs> you did not say it was chunky! I love Clover so much. They're so silly. After that, the head office will give you an award. Excellence in ruining Gardner's day! Deserved. Listen, friendo. Oh, I just ate flower stew in front of Gardner, too. That <laughs> I'm surprised my offense level didn't go back up. You ask Gardner to think about what she's doing. Offense level lowered. Give in already. Listen, I just want to be friends, Gardner. I'm going to try giving another flower. Or do you think that will upset them? I'll try it. I'll see. You pick some flowers and offer them to gar Gardner. Okay. Maybe the flowers has to be when my offense level is completely at the zero. I thought it might have just been like super boost, but like you had to do it at the exact right time. Okay, Gardner. More pleading then. You sure like to see us grovel. It's fine. You use ration. You use rationale in hopes of de-escalating the situation. Offense level lowered. We're almost there. Wait, you, you, I, offense level lowered. Oh, what happened? There seems to be a gap in my memory core. I am so sorry. What? By the way, Delta Rune on Gardner. I think that did the trick. You're pretty clever in intense situations. I'm impressed. Gardner cools down as steam seeps from her arms. Oh, Gardner. Should take her rage down a few notches. Gardner cools down as the steam steeps from her arms. Okay, there we go. You won. You earned zero XP and 50 gold. Now I can buy more recovery items because I used every single one on you. <laughs> I was about to do something. Oh yes, I remember. Sending level three report. Response negative. I apologize. Allow me to call again. Sending level three report. Hello, creator? Are you there? I believe my creator may be playing a practical joke on me. Signaling Steamworks head office. Beep. The line you are contacting has been disconnected. Where, where is everybody? I don't think there's everybody anymore, Gardner. Oh, I have allowed amounts. I have allowed immense overgrowth. I understand. It seems my day has passed. Cancel report and reinitiate hibernation. Hibernation sequence engaged. I am sorry for inconveniencing you. I do not know what the new world is like now, nor do I wish to. Gardner's like, well, it looks like I screwed up. It's time to go back to sleep because I don't want to live in this world anymore. Bye. Life was much better not knowing. Oh. I can't, let's keep moving. I can't help but feel that was supposed to be some kind of connection to some type of way that Saroba feels. Maybe she, sometimes she just wishes that she could go on not knowing, but she has to know what happened to her daughter. Or she's, now she's, her resolve 
Maybe that little speech that that robot gave is wavering her resolve to figure out what happened to her daughter, or maybe just scaring her just a little bit. I don't think her resolve will ever waver in that sense, but I do think that she's a little scared to find out what's happened, and just that, that conversation with that robot, with Gardner, was supposed to, you know, affect Saroba more than affected us. All right, Saroba, do you have anything to say about that? We can't let these bots deter us. I wish we could help them, but it's far too late. I mean, they aren't even real. Yeah, they're only some mix of metal and magic, so it's all right. I didn't talk to her in here, I don't think. I can, okay. Nothing special in there. All right, let's save the game. We did it, hurrah. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Just flip it! <laughs> okay, what's this way? Okay, maybe the other way is to help me backtrack. Telly V's tunes in! Hello! You're- I love you. You're donkey. Look at you. Okay. Telly V's. Attack 12, defense 12. Can't live with or without one another. <laughs> Word of advice, please rewind your tape before feeding me. I live life in glorious standard definition, nothing better. Oh my god, it's a combination of two monsters. It's a television and a VCR. <laughs> oh, okay, we're ready, Saroba. You are not- you did not- this is not- I wonder if it- it went in the corner! It went in the corner perfectly! It happens, it does. I saw it. You saw it. Everyone saw it. Telly V's confirmed. Uh, Telly V's are debating which season of the news is superior. Which season of the news? You, you, you're silly. So what should we do? Watch? Let's watch. Well, this is your favorite channel. Telly V's don't look amused. Okay, what are you staring at? Nothing worth it, that's for sure. Really, guys? I thought you would have loved to be watched. Okay. Bees reminds Telly what time his favorite show airs, but she only makes fun of him. <laughs> Aw, okay, what if we, um, nap? You begin to drift off to the dismay of Telly. Excuse me, a am I boring you? Ha! You, go okay, so I've watched you and you got mad and then I stopped watching you and you got hurt. So what am I supposed to do here? Give me something new! Oh, you were talking while I was talking, weren't you? Sorry, buddy. Telly starts to sing an anime opening. <laughs> These pigs are to stop. Uh, okay, so I guess signal. You help Telly fin finagle her antennas to find some programming. <laughs> Whoa, hey, I'm picking something up. Oh? What you got? The DIC version of Sailor Moon. Ooh, Channel 44, UPN. My daytime, car my daytime cartoons are aging me right now, and it's totally fine. Viz reminds Telly what time his favorite air sh what time his favorite show airs, but she only makes fun of him. Okay, so we we got your signal right. Oh, so maybe now we can watch something good because the signal's good. Telly finds a show she thinks you'll love. Here comes the best part. Hard disagree. Look at the little dancing guy on the TV. Adorable. Oh, I almost got distracted. Visa's not having it. Telly Vs hopes you enjoyed the program. I did. Thank you. Bye. 25 gold for only half of my HP bar. Totally worth it. Two paths. Hold on. That symbol. I've seen it on Kujin's work before. Or Chujin. Let me try one of his codes. Nope. Ugh. Well, I only have one left, but I've already used it. Here goes. Seriously? Same code as the Dunes Gate? With this kind of security, no wonder Axis is so vigilant. After you. I don't... Can't, why don't we go the other way, Saroba? Is this because you don't know the code to this way? That's okay. 
I don't need you to know the code for everything. But before we continue through that scary door, I am going to save because I think that brings my HP back up. And also I'm going to check to see what's through here. It's probably some kind of shortcut back. It is to the vending machine. Very smart. Right? Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's just to the entrance of the steamworks so we can leave later. Actually, you know what? I think that's what it is. Oops. Well, I need to go to the vending machine anyways to grab a couple healing items. I... What did I... I went the wrong way. We're just gonna... It's... We're just gonna go all the way around. It's like when you're changing the channel on the TV and you've already made it so far through and you just gotta make the full lap around the channels again. There's no use going back. <laughs> oh! Now I'm just smashing every single flower here. That's awful. Gardner's asleep. Gardner's like, I'm not hearing any of it. Nothing is happening. Um, forget the vending machine. We're gonna go live our life. Alright, Saroba. Tell me your secrets. So this is the building Chujin worked at. Hell of a commute. He was always a traveler, though. Back when we first met, I lived in the mountains. My mother had sent me down to Oasis Valley for some crops. On the way back, I had to cross a rather large ditch. While on the bridge, I accidentally rolled my ankle and fell in. I couldn't climb out no matter how hard I tried. Even worse, the expensive crops were ruined. Felt like I was there for hours before I heard a jingling sound. A hiker approached the bridge holding a walking stick with a bell on it. He noticed me lying in my humble ditch, so I smiled and said, hey. With a kind look, he replied, you look awful. I was hooked. He then hopped down and tore a strip of his red robe to wrap my ankle. And, well, I could go on, but yeah. That's just who he was, caring, even to a fault. Wh Why do I like- I don't even know Chujin yet, and I really like him. The ladder of- the ladder of success? Okay. Oh, hey. I feel like that's a reference that's going over my head. Hello? Rusted through. The sign says, if the receptionist is unreceptive, check with the robot control station three floors up. Robot control station? Clover, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh... Let's go with, uh... <laughs> you zoned out? Listen! If there's some sort of breaker box for all robots in the area, we can shut access down and get to Hotland as planned. It's worth an investigation at least. Let's go. Okay, so we got to go three floors up. I feel like I'm in some fallout abandoned building. The waiting room chairs are waiting for someone to wait on them. Oh, are they? Those poor chairs. They're going to be waiting a while. I guess we can save in the lobby. A roboceptionist frozen in time. It holds an expression of melancholy. Oh, I can ding the bell. It was a bit of a throwaway comment, but it's true. I, this area, like this front lobby with like the broken down robot receptionist and the trash everywhere and even the lighting, it really, really, and like the plants overgrowing the very high tech facility reminds me of Fallout 3 particularly, um, like exploring the, the wasteland and happening upon all these old buildings and exploring through their decaying remnants. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. Tomorrow means the surface. <laughs> Even that! Tomorrow means the surface! That sounds like some propaganda if I've ever seen it. Wishing everyone a productive final workday. Feel free to take pictures with your creations as they must be left behind. As always, thank you for your contributions to the Steamworks. So it wasn't shut down suddenly. It was a an announced closing of the Steamworks. It wasn't like some kind of catastrophe that left the building abandoned. It was everybody left. An empty elevator shaft lies before you. Well then, convenience was never in today's dictionary anyway. Gotta be a staircase close by. Can we just jump down? 
No. Okay, Suroba doesn't want to. Clover would totally do it. The belt looks as if it's want it looks as if it's wanting to convey something. You stop that. What did I just wake up? Oh gosh. I don't need any more saucy robots in my life right now. Good morning, Steamworks employees. Hope you're ready for another day of productivity. Today we are boxing and shipping goods out into the underground. Uh, hello? Are you sentient or a pre-recording? Hello, new hire. Yes, I am fully sentient. Trapped in this two-dimensional rectangle for all of eternity. Ooh, ouch. Right. Can you unlock all the doors in this factory? We're in a hurry. Sorry, but each morning we do a little thing called Earn Your Freedom. Compete, complete a full shipment and you'll be on your way. What kind of policy is that? When there's a quota to meet, ethics go out the window. That's... It's too real, sentient rectangle. Haven't you worked a job before? <sighs> Unfortunately, yes. Yes, I have. Of course, but I don't work here. So you're trespassing? In that case, fine, we'll do the job. Clover, this bot might have connections to Axis. Seems we gotta do what it says to avoid unwanted attention. You can work this thing, right? Push the start button and we'll get it over with. Oh no. What am I, what am I doing? What are you doing? I don't know, I'm asking the same questions. Put red items in red boxes and blue in blue boxes. Three strikes and you're out. Your machine's broken. The second conveyor belt doesn't move. No. <laughs> yes? It's bro- no. Screw this. Clover, you box the goods and I'll toss them into the chute. Teamwork, right? Something like that. Let's give it a shot. I still don't know what buttons I'm pressing. Okay, I B and A. Okay, I got it. What color is that? That's red. I don't know what color. That's red. That's trash. What box does trash go in? Nothing? I guess that, that looks like trash too. This is trash. That's trash. Okay, I think I get it now. Only things that are outlined you should be putting in stuff, right? I already have two strikes. That's... What is this learning curve? I did it. Please let me go home. I've worked my shift. Give me my wages and let me leave, please. Hey, all right. Good work, Clover. On to whatever awaits us next. The belt looks as if it's want. You know, I already read that. It was funny the first time, and it was pretty funny the second time, too, actually. You knock on the steel structure. It echoes with a deep clanging. An unfortunate incident. Yeah. Oh, is that a robot up there? I'll sm oh, poor robots. They didn't deserve this. Are you going to make me play another minigame? Sentient rectangle. <laughs> Fun! Hello again! The shipment is almost complete! One final step and you may have the passcode to exit! All you have to do is sort each colored package by tilting the platform left or right. Pretty obvious. Look who paid attention! Learning colors in preschool! Not by choice. <laughs> I'll take the color- I'll take the drop shoot up top. You man the platform. Good? Good. Ready? No! Here goes nothing! I mean, I'm not ready, Saroba, please. Okay, I see. I see, I see. It's red! It's blue! It's red! Okay, it's red. I don't want to keep saying it's red or it's blue over and over again because then I kind of feel like that parrot on TikTok that says red and glass and Shrek. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I was thinking about parrots. Oh, no. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> the 
is just what I get for thinking about things when I should be thinking about other things. Why was I thinking about the TikTok parrot? I don't know. It's because I sounded like the TikTok parrot. It's fine. It's okay. Uh -huh. I should probably learn more words. Some kind of vocabulary lesson. I'll figure it out. Coming back down. Great job, everyone! You can't spell Steamworks without teamwork. Can't spell it without steak either, but that has absolutely no bearing on the situation. Let's see how you did. Calculating? Aw, oh, you barely scraped by, but that's what performance reports are for. But I did scrape by is what you're saying, and that's what counts, really. Hey, it isn't our fault the system is so impractical. Why does it take two giant steps to ship a few packages? Why can't we sort the colors with boxing them in the first room? Beats me! <laughs> you know, for being built by such great minds, the Steamworks are awfully convoluted. It takes a massive IQ to understand the complexities of the Steamworks. Your brain probably isn't advanced enough, says the wall-mounted GIF comprised of three pixels. You know what? You can take your little passcode and... <laughs> she just looked at Clover like she was gonna swear and like... Not in front of the child. I must maintain myself. I must keep composure in front of Clover. That was so adorable. The little hand, the little handshake and everything. Just give us the code. Or was Clover like centering Saroba? I can't tell what that was. Was Clover like getting Saroba's attention? Oh my god, they're so cute. Of course! The passcode is 3738. 3738? Got it? 3738. Yeah, thanks. No, thank you, employees. Thank you for making the underground a little bit brighter. <sighs> what? I don't trust any of these robots. You find a stick of beef jerky in the trash can. Absolutely, we love trash jerky. Oh, three, seven. Oh, no, 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 no. It was, how do I delete? <laughs> three seven three eight. Ha ha. Okay. Quiet. Very quiet. I'm metal. I I am concerned. Metalworks emergency escape plan or meep. In case someone sets the room on fire, do not use the elevator. Evacuate down the floor, down to floor one, or use passcode to access floor three. What's the passcode? Uh-huh. They're really locked this place tight. Well, if the code was found nearby on the first floor, let's take a look around. So, we should probably be able to find, find the next floor's code here somewhere is what Saroba's saying. Oh! Peace. Calm. Where's I? Don't we? Didn't we make a friend for you? Why aren't you with your friend? There you are. No way. You seriously want to do this again? Yes. Remember the explosion that incapacitated you? Yes. I retrieved brand new hands. I am unstoppable now. Look. At some point, shush. <laughs> do not resist arrest any longer. Stand still and let my handsome hands shine. Shoot. <laughs> Clover, this way. My vision! Initiating 16 volt super flashlight. 90. Oh no, are we gonna have to avoid the flashlight cone? Oh my god, a stealth mission! 90 for 95% of power utilized. Typography box hindered. What do you mean? Oh. This is most uh this is bad. Oh well. Unlike them, I have eyes. What do you mean, unlike them, you have eyes? Please don't tell me there's some third party in here that we need to worry about. Oh, God. Okay. We need to stay out of his view and keep quiet. There's gotta- Hello again! Oh. What do you want? <gasps> she got him! <gasps> As I was saying, there's gotta be a code around here. Once you find it, head for the exit. The remnant of Saroba's wrath. 60 gold sits abandoned in the machine. Yes! Oh my god, take the 60 gold. 
Oh, 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 oh. No, you stay out of the light. A rusty machine once used for shaping gold into coins. It doesn't seem functional. Oh my god! <gasps> That's... Oh, is that the code? Three... What is that? B1? A1? C2? What does that mean? C2... A1... B1... And D... Th oh, that's D3. I'm not gonna remember anything. You figured out a code? Hurry and give it a try. Okay, so... A... Let's try... The A1... I'm... I know. Okay, so... B... So, one, one... Two... Three. Let's try that. I don't know. One, one, two, three. Oh, it was right! Oh! Okay, let's head upstairs before Axis. Hello. Axis! Just the bot I was looking for. How are you doing these days? Not so good. I could only speak in 15 characters. Max, back there. It kind of bummed me out. Is that what was going on? Is that why the text box got, text box got so small? <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Glad you got your full speech ability back. Thank you. I do like talking. Wait. Wait. Are you trying to distract me from my mission? No. Oh, okay. Can I ask you a question involving the security of the Steamworks? Yes, I am a security expert. Why is it that some doors require passcode to unlock and others require Steamworks ID? Two-factor authentication. Huh? Wait, I never- I didn't see what was on the other side of this room. There was something over there. Cool. <laughs> oh no! Can I go back? I'm gonna save and I'll see if I can go back. Workstations. Okay, well, probably another code to find. You know the drill. I- these- I love these wallpapers on these screens right now. Okay, let's see if I can go back. Oh, not that way. Sir Robot is like, hell no, you're not going through those doors. That robot's still waiting there. A sheet of neatly typed bullet points lies crumpled in the trash. You stash it in your mailbag. Well, what do they say? The helper bot guidelines. Every manufactured bot must have a practical function installed. A purpose for being. Cooking, cleaning, agriculture, etc. Bot should have tiers of emotion to better integrate into society. Coding a personality into each one is recommended. It makes them more personable and easy to be around. Three, all bots are to have a strong connection with the living things, their creators, average monsters, other bots, etc. If deprived of this, some may become easily agitated and restless, like Axis. Others may be unfazed, depends on the model. Not Axis. Axis is very phased. If a bot acts out of line or malfunctions, they are to be shut down. Typically, a hard reset will do the trick. Termination is a last resort. If a shutdown isn't possible, they can be coaxed back to their normal state. Absolutely no bots are allowed outside of the Steamworks at this time, until King Ascor is ready to begin mass production. This project is classified. Most of all, have fun, smiley face. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Let's check this one first. An old PC sitting on two desktops. The image on the screen gives you a nostalgic feeling. An old PC sitting on two desktops. Okay, it's the same same dialogue. You are awestruck by the absolute pipe pandemonium on display. How do they do it? Y you know what? When I was about Clover's age, same. That, I just sit there and stare at the windows wallpapers like amazed i would like write silly words like poop and butt and then have the 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 stylized words bounce across the screen as the wallpaper that's what i did for fun that and just put stuff on floppy disks even though there was no reason to put the stuff there i just like moving things around in the file explorer i i don't know it was fun <laughs> Many sticky notes are posted around the smashed-in PC. 
We've replaced your computer six times now. Please control your temper. It's just solitaire. <laughs> Oh, it's just solitaire. Relax. The note on the powered off PC reads, the future is bright. Hang in there. The note on the powered off PC reads, the future is bright. Hang in there. Downsizing imminent, but definitely not for the employee who's reading this. You're doing a great job. <sighs> okay, I still haven't figured out a code yet. Maybe the code was on the bullet points or it's in this room here somewhere. Must be the manager's office. Surely they had access to all the passcodes. Let's check those file cabinets. You got it, Saroba. Anything you want. Hold on. Look here. Performance reports for all factory employees. A. B. Oh. She. C. Chujin's file. O1, oh, 16, sometime in the 2000s. Mr. Shujin pitched his blueprints for a guard bot of sorts. He called the project Axis. 319 of sometime in the 2000s, Axis model 01 was presented to King Asgore but was swiftly rejected. The poor thing couldn't stay powered up for more than six seconds. May 10th of sometime in the 2000s, Axis Model 4 backfired and shot one of its gloves at the king. This is getting embarrassing. July 23rd, sometime in the 2000s, Axis Model 7 refused to enter the throne room. Asgore gave Chujin one more shot after incessant pleading. I know he's a smart engineer, but if the next showcase goes south... September 23rd, sometime in the 2000s, well, this is it. Model 8 booted up and seemed to be stable for a moment. That was until a malfunction occurred and sparks began to emit from the body. In the chaos, one spark leaped onto King Asgore's flower bed. A fire ignited but was swiftly put out. Please leave. Leave and do not return. Yeah, the flower... Mm. I... I apologize deeply. But as we are, us monsters simply aren't ready to bypass the barrier. You know this deep down. I know you do. Access is the solution you need. The solution I need is a reliable one. One that won't set fire to our homes. If this is about my... It isn't. I thank you for your service to society. About his what? His daughter? But I'm afraid monster kind's freedom belongs in more capable hands. I wonder... I wonder if their daughter is in a fallen down state because of some experiment that he, like, accidentally hurt her with. I don't know. Maybe not. It's capable hands, he says. Look at Axis now, the true realization of Chujin's vision. He far exceeds any model Osgore ever saw. And you know, and you know who those capable hands now belong to? The scientist who has Kanako. Dr. Alfie's. The capable. A while back, she built a robot too. One so lifelike, it got her the position she has now. It must have been real impressive. So impressive that Asgor kicked the other visionaries to the curb. I understand now why Chuji never shared this with me. He must have been absolutely gutted hearing those words. Screw the royals, the politics, all the red tape, this clover. This is why the mission is so important. You can't trust these closed-minded gatekeepers to do anything right. Not for a second. Let's go. Dusty filing cabinets filled with employee records. It kind of seems like Saroba has a chip on her shoulder about authority. Today's elevator passcode is 7354. Richard B. Oni. Engineering Certificate XX20XX. A dilapidated desk with several ripped up notes strewn about. Among the notes sits a piece of paper with one thing written on it. How do I tell them? 
I want to pick up... I want Clover to drink this sludgy coffee. I know they'll do it. Or at least, like, lick the electrical cord here, maybe? Something, Clover? I don't know. You're a weird one. I was expecting a weird thing. I forgot the code already because I was thinking about Saroba. Seven three five four seventy three fifty four. Hello, I welcome you into my body. Please don't say that. Wherever would you like to go? Top floor. Did you say basement? Get us to the roof, out of here, whatever. I carry a negative opinion of you heading to out of here. That's not... That thing is gonna launch us straight through. Ugh, oh, sorry for all the outbursts. All of this is, it's a lot to process. Bet you're pretty tired of learning about me, so... What about you? You're not exactly a talker, so I don't know much. <laughs> Clover's sitting on the floor. Why are you here in the first place? Did you simply trip and fall into the underground? I'm curious. I'll... let's be honest. The five humans. I see. You wanted to find out what happened to those kids. A noble mission. Takes guts. I'm assuming you haven't found them yet, though. I wonder if Saroba knows. Do, do all the monsters know Asgore's decree to to kill all the humans that fall into the underground? Is that like a, a well-known thing? It seemed like it in Undertale. We have arrived at out of here. I that's well, uh, better get moving. I guess what is? Where did? This looks like the beginning. This whole adventure has had its share of twists and turns. If I knew what I was getting myself into back into the saloon, I'd probably still do it. Dangerous stuff like this is kind of fun. Oh, we, we did go back to the beginning, right? No, I just remember that UGPS guy. Televies, hi! Let me help you. You help Telly finagle her antennas to find some programming. Whoa, hey, I'm picking something up. That you are, my friend, that you are. Let's watch some quality television. Some Dragon Ball in Espanol. Yes, maybe. Ooh! Bananas in pajamas, maybe, perhaps? You wonder where the mute button is? Stop! That's not nice, Clover. Okay, let's watch. Telly finds a show she thinks you'll love. I do love it. You're so right, Telly. Thank you. Bye, Telly. Thanks for the 25 gold. What is this way? Okay, we can't go that way yet. I guess this isn't the same place. It's just another UGPS stop, probably for when the teleportation kicks back in. We can do that. The robotic duo, Jandroid and Gusik, are here. Hi, friends. Um, let's. This is going to be terrible to dodge everything. Let's get rid of Jandroid first, because I think we can do it in one go. Clean. You offer to give Jandroid a scrub. They seem offended. No, you. Oh, the wet floor thing. Oh, it's not going to make me fight both the- Oh, it is! Darn it! I was so excited! I thought Gusik was going to leave me alone. Ah! Oh my god! Get out of here, Jandroid! Th this one goes out to all the humans out there! Okay, at least this one is easier to dodge. Right? Oh, like, I- Every time I say that it's easier to dodge or I'll do better this time, I always put my foot in my mouth and it always gets significantly worse. Okay, let's move your needle. Let's relax, calm, peace. Okay, now we should be able to vibe and we'll be good to go. This is nice. It is, isn't it, Gusik? Gusik is lost in the music. Bye, Gusik. Thanks for the 36 gold. Okay, 
Let's be on our way, Saroba. Oh, what do you think about this green place? The Steamworks slogan, tomorrow means the surface. When do you think that tomorrow will come? It's been today my entire life. I just feel like Saroba has been told everything will get better, everything will be great if you just do this, if you just follow these rules, and if you just live this kind of life, everything will work out exactly the way it's supposed to be, and if you just work hard, people will recognize that, and like, she was told that, but she's living a very different experience where it seems like everything that was done for for Monster Kind's own good is really just hurting them in her eyes. And she just fe feels very mistrustful of authority and the royals and the royal scientists. And <sighs> she's just very mistrustful at this point. Well, I'm guessing this is our ticket out of here. Just have to, uh, why don't you take a stab at it? Technology and I don't exactly mix well. Oh, uh, do you see this outfit, Saroba? Uh, you look like you're more at home in front of a computer than I am, friend. A daunting array of screens and buttons lie before you. You press one of the buttons. Robotics control status functioning at 78%. Awaiting input. Main directory. This is this. Okay. This. I know I've said it multiple times in the Steamworks already, but even this this screen with the green lettering, I know that it's supposed to replicate like old school computer Linux type of looking screens, but it just reminds me so much of Fallout, like so much. <laughs> I'm a big Fallout fan though, so I'm going to find it in everything I can. Info, Steamworks Station R, System... OS Delta version 1.4 installed XX20XX processor Ultra McTurbo core 180.5 gigahertz installed physical memory 500 megabytes well that's like half a gig what are you graphics card error we can't play games on this thing robotics control status functioning at 78% awaiting input main directory documents error information classified Pictures, loading, estimated time remaining, nine hours, robotics control status functioning at 78%. Games, oh my god, I was just asking about games. What games do you have on this thing? Loading, feature blocked, custom message, trying to play video games on the job? Please report to the head office. We have a pink colored gift for you. Whoa, uh. I was set up. <laughs> Settings, select your option, emergency shutdown? Emergency shutdown. Shut down all helper bots within the vicinity? Yeah, why not? Attempting shutdown. Error. Could not complete task. Just kidding. <laughs> Emergency shutdown complete. <laughs> don't you wink at me. I don't... I hope that worked. It's unfortunate access had to end up this way. Maybe I should... No. I wish Shujin's project could thrive, but a line had to be drawn. Can't dwell in the past any longer. Let's go. Uh, okay, Saroba. I got you. Ooh, look at this! Look at these sunset waterfalls. Oh my god. Hey, Flowey. Can I get in here? You spot some gravity granola inside the machine. Take it? Absolutely. Oh, it's a broken down vending machine. I see. Oh, hey, wait! A faint face is burned into the machine's screen. Staring out into the dim chasm of rock and steel. <laughs> Got some burn in there, do you, buddy? Oh, the Steamworks is getting very- <gasps> What happened to Saroba? Hey, who did that? Clover, you can hear me, right? I'm gonna try to blast a hole in this thing. It's gonna take a lot to break through. And to think we were almost free of this place. Um... Just look around for a switch or a keypad. There's always one near doors. I have a feeling... I... You are not asleep, my friend. I know you're not. You don't eat... Ugh. I'm going to put you in the trash. Main power source not found. Initiating emergency backup power. What was that? Did I just hear Oxus? 
human. You tried to shut me down? I have had it with you and your friend thwarting my plans. I am this close to directing all my steam into the mud. I am this close to directing all my steam into my root finger. I am going to direct all my steam into my root finger. Can I say that to people or does it only work if I'm a robot? And yes, I am yelling. My typography box just lacks the exclamation point character. A shame, but at least I have my question marks. <laughs> Hey, Clover! I don't think we can outrun this guy any longer. Please try to find a peaceful way to outwit him. I'm sorry, but I don't want Shuji's creation smashed to bits. Outwit? Maybe. Outgun? Never. I am ticked off and have an- <laughs> You did- You did a thing! You did a Spamton thing! I am ticked off and have an out of non-lethal options. So prepare yourself. I am attacking now. What was that? What? My programming is preventing me from attack. It says you are not a current threat or resisting arrest. Ugh, forget this. Here, I will make you a threat. Hold this, it suits you. There, now you have a drawn weapon. Loopholes are wonderful, are they not? No time to die! <laughs> Axis model 014, ready to attack. So, Chujin, Chujin's Axis model 8 was the one, was the last one that Ascor saw before he told him to leave. So was he working on more models in private? Okay. Um what have what have we here? Axis, let's check first. Axis, attack 13, defense 12. Today means the surface. Oh, I see, I see. What are you doing with that lid? It was not supposed to be useful. That is cheating. There's like a Tico bar in the corner. Like, are we supposed to just upset this robot? Access seems on the edge. Um, okay, let's, let's be cool. You pull on your shirt repeatedly in hopes to beat the heat. Your ever fails. That's not, that's not the cool I was thinking of. Oh no! Oh, if it hits the... Oh, that's bad! That's bad! Oh! Death by metal and magic! That... Oh! That's... <sighs> I actually have to catch them? Oh my god. Eat the beef jerky! You scarf down the beef jerky. Your HP was maxed out. Okay. Oh! Oh my god! I can't tell whether... I... Oh! Oh! Oh, it's a big one! Oh my god! Oh, we gotta get it. Yeah! Oh! <gasps> What was that? What did I say? It's not a word. Why did I say that? Oxus is having trouble charging up his next attack. Um, Brace? You ready your trusty shield for whatever awaits. <gasps> oh, oh, I'm in the circle. I'm in a circle now. Okay, 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 okay. I got this. I got this. We got this. I will protect you, Clover. You feel the furnace's heat waves engulf you. Um, I guess we're gonna eat the gravity granola. You snack on the gravity granola. You can really taste all 9.8 meters. Your HP was maxed out. Okay. Oh! Oh my god! Stop that right now! <gasps> That's terrible! Clearly, Oxus wasn't built to last. You can take him out, I'm sure of it. Please tell me it's something that's normally barbecuable. Uh, let's... Uh, let's be cool. We're, we're, we're feeling a little warm about this barbecue thing going on. Let's cool off. Okay, I gotta be careful with these. These get me... Oh, get me so bad. Oh my god. Okay, okay, we gotta get this. We gotta, we gotta get him. <gasps> we missed. It's okay. Axis pinches the end of one of his gloves and releases the air. He finds it amusing. Let's just focus on healing for now. You scarf down the beef jerky. Your HP was maxed out. Good job. Good job, Clover. I hope we never have to deal with those lasers again because they do so much damage. Oh my god, Axis! Just stay still. Or maybe if I aim. So if I do... Oh, yeah, we got him! I did it again. How? Wait, this is your doing, of course. It is. 
Do not shock me again, okay? Smells like an unfortunate barbecue. I think Axis is the one barbecue in here now. You ready your trustworthy shield? We got this. No more lasers. Oh my god, I just said no more lasers, buddy. <gasps> okay, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't the worst laser in the world. Oh no. Oh, it's the the move move through it laser. No, that's not fair. Oh my god, I almost died there. Oh, okay. We need the gravity bar. I am starting to regret giving you that lid. Could you please drop it? Just kick it into the fiery pit below us. Simple. You feel the furnace's heat waves engulf you. All right, gravity granola. You're all I have left. Please, 9.8 meters. Take me away from this horrid place. Okay, steam. Steam. Oh, no! Let's cool off. You pull on your shirt repeatedly in hopes to beat the heat. Your effort fails. Aw. Oh, don't ball. <gasps> am I supposed to catch them? I am. I'm supposed to bounce them. I was dodging them. Ugh, terrible. What is wrong with me? And only half of his meter is gone. Oh, gosh. I'm going to have to do that again. Oh, darn it. Okay, I can aim. I know how. Maybe sometimes. Come on, Axis. I got you, buddy. Oh! Oh, my God! I need to learn about perspective and directional inputs and... and all that kind of stuff. And ricochet. That's one of the words I was looking for. Ricochet. Because the timing is the same every time, so it's essentially, oh no, he's going to aim it at me, right? So I need to be in the opposite corner. I'm a ding-dong. This is my fault. That is enough! Unbeknownst to you, I brought a backup plan. Portable generators equals infinite battery. Good luck! That's... A Clover, I'm almost through! Whatever you're doing, it seems to be working. Keep at it until he's out of juice! Um, I can hear you. You two think you're so smart? Ha! I do not run on juice. In fact, I do not run at all. I roll. Obviously. Axis blows into one of his vents to clean some dust. You don't know how. <laughs> all right, brace yourself, buddy, because we're probably going to get knocked out this turn after all that effort. You ready your trustworthy shield for whatever awaits. Oh, oh no. Don't move. Oh no, oh no. It's too... You can't do the don't move and the move at the same time. You can't do both of those at the same time. I can't think. I love that these... I love that the generators have the Deltarune symbol on them. A lot of the machinery has that stamped on and so do like a bunch of the landmarks. I just... I find it nice that they made all the little connections that they could just to make it feel more authentically... Undertale. It's it's really nice. Um, I, I mean, aside from this game beating the crap out of me, it's been really nice. Okay, let's let's heal. Let's scarf down some beef jerky. Don't move. Move. Don't move. Oh damn it! Move. Don't move. Move. Okay, we made it through. I'll I'll tell you that first attack has destroyed me almost every other time, and this time we actually made it through. Gravity granola, I guess. I really didn't want to do it, but I had to. Okay. Oh, the bombs, that's right. Oh, God. Oh, God. These are horrible. They're horrible, sneaky little things. Oh, let's blow up the generators. <gasps> Seriously? I am reaching unheard levels of ticked. Level seven, at least, your fault. Oxus blows into one of his vents to clean some dust. You don't know how. <laughs> I, you know, I won't question it. This is, I won't question anything at this point. I just, I'm just really, really need to finish this. I'm scared. I don't want to die. You pull on your shirt. It's not going to work, Clover. What? Oh my God. Okay, they're going to, they flash red in the order that they're going to come at me, right? So I guess be prepared for that. Oh, What?
You want me to remember things now? What is this, Simon Says? Why is it taking longer to charge up now? Oh my god. <gasps> it got me! Oh no, oh no, oh no! I wasn't paying attention! I mean, I missed that first one. Okay, the tickle bar's going though. Let's get, let, we gotta get your... Your generator. Oh, damn it. <gasps> oh, I don't have to rebuild the bar. Oh my god, thank you. You're a kind villain. Nope, okay, we gotta go to the other side, I think. There we go. Screw you! Oh, I, I screw you times five. The air thickens. Axis. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there, and unfortunately, we only have four HP, so we basically can't get hit. But you know how that works around here. It's not going to happen. So let's see what we can do. Oh, I was waiting for it to telegraph where it was going to go. I didn't expect it to start moving around. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Axis, you've got one generator. I've got eight HP and one gravity granola, and I am... Uh, I'm going to take the gravity granola now. Maxed out. I was... Hoping maybe we can get through a couple more turns without it, but I don't... I think I got to take it now. Axis thinks his music is a bit intense. This music is a bit intense for his taste. Is that, yeah, uh, this whole battle is a little intense for my taste. So I think you need to suck it up, Axis. I'm going to pull on my shirt. I need to cool down. Okay, they're coming from here. And then here. Ooh. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, there's the first. Oh, we got him. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay, you know what? I was in the wrong corner. It's okay. It's totally fine. We got this. Yeah! That's a, a lot of screw yous. Death by metal and magic. You have nothing. I have 20 HP. You have no generators. Please access. Let's just work this out nicely. I, I can't take any more of your supernova attacks. They're very scary. I'm going to brace myself because I'm nervous. Okay, 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 okay. There, okay, okay, oh, oh. Oh, no, 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 please don't get me. Axis is having trouble charging up his next attack. I, you know, just don't charge it up then. Go home. Oh, oh, don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Whoa, come on, Axis. Come on, buddy. Just power down. Just take a nap. You love it. You love naps. We can be friends. You can go home and live. You you can live with Saroba. Wouldn't we all love that? We would love it. Oh, you still have some energy left. Come on. I can't I can't take it anymore. Gah! You would not like me at low battery. I am warning you to not drain my battery. <sighs> God. And there we go. Good job holding your own while I was occupied. Oxus seems pretty dazed. One more shock should do him in. Let's end this. What? What do you mean, Saroba? Let's end this. I'm gonna end this. You just keep hanging out, pounding on that door. I guess I have a little more defense now. The way these are lurching at me is terrifying. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Ooh, those got really close. You ready your trusty shield? I don't know what's waiting for me, but... Oh! Oh no! How do I know who's gonna shoot? Oh, it shakes! It's the shaky one! But... Okay, we're powered up! We're juiced up and ready to go! Let's go! Okay, come on! I shouldn't be so happy that I drained poor Axis, but that was like... Like a 45 minute long ordeal. It took me like 45 minutes to take this guy down. Beep, beep. Shutting off strenuous emotions to save power. Uh, what did you do to me? I don't feel an utter murderous rage anymore. I... 
do not know what to do with myself. Suppose I will stare at you blankly until you do something. <laughs> Axis is staring at you blankly until you do something. Um, can we spare? It doesn't look like we can spare yet. Plan B? You asked a robot to present your metallic creation. Of course. Hey, Oxus. What? How do you feel about second dates? Like a calendar? <laughs> oh, it's my TV baby! What is this? This feeling? Uh-oh. Dude. Is this an explosion or transformation? Oh, transformation! Soulmate located! Perfection personified! Where has this beauty been all my life? Holy... The shimmer, the complexion, the curves. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Clover, let's, uh, let's wrap this up. What? Oh my god. This emotion, it feels so nice. I must thank you for opening my eyes. I had no idea such wondrous sights existed. Glad we could finally reach a level of civility. Can I keep them? Whoa, slow down. Here. Do you want to know a secret? Yes, I would like to know a secret. They told me that they like you, but will only go out if it's casual. Get to know them a little first, you know? Ask what their name is or something. Saroba, you're so smooth. Okay. <laughs> All right, good. Give it a shot. Hello, my name is Axis. What is your name? Ha <laughs> ha, you are so funny. Want to get married? Hey, remember what we talked about? They said yes. <laughs> what? I am honestly just as surprised as you. This rocks. Okay, then I'm happy for you. Well, not to rain on the parade, but Clover and I have to go. Go where? Hotland, just a business trip. Well, I wish you a pleasant journey then. Backup battery extremely low. Please recharge. Oh, uh, suppose I should go do that. Recharging will restore me back to my factory state, but added added human and tall lady to authorized list. There, now I will not attempt apprehension next time we meet. Thank you, Access. You have a good life. I will try. Oh, Oh, he took his wife! <laughs> oh, one more thing. Hmm? You said your husband was my creator? Would you tell him that I miss him? He was always very kind to me. I... Yeah, I'll tell him. Oh my god, her... Her portrait. I, I love that the portraits in this game, they change to reflect... The character emotions i i play a lot of like rpgs and sim style games so one of my favorite aspects of those games especially when the the graphics don't allow for a lot of emoting on the face is character portraits and character portraits that move i love them like the character portraits in story of seasons are amazing I love them so much. So expressive. And seeing this character portrait here and seeing how expressive they can get despite them being just black and white and still pixel art. Very, very respectable, honestly. I There's a lot of emotion conveyed in this pixel art that's just, boop, right there. Perfect. Thank you. Goodbye. All right, Saroba. Ellipses, yeah, I know. That was a lot to take in, probably. I mean, seeing the robots live happily ever after together, that was a nice palate cleanser after that brutal battle. I gotta say, that was pretty entertaining. Glad we could bypass Axis without destroying him. Turns out, you're a pretty damn good leader, Clover. I don't know why I doubted... Right. I see our exit up ahead. We're close. Well, you doubted me, Clover, and you, I mean, you doubted me, Saroba, and you doubted Clover, Saroba, because you've, you've got some things that you need to work through, and it's okay. I don't think there's any therapists in the underground, so you gotta kind of figure it out for yourself. 